In Jerusalem, Shift 101, a group led by mothers of hostages advocating for the hostages through non-violent and non-political protests gathered outside the Israeli Prime Minister's office for the fourth day of silent protest. In fact, even dozens gathered outside Netanyahu's office entrance and blocked the road. The location of the protest has changed since the day it began on Monday, with protesters sitting outside the Knesset and Netanyahu's home previously. Demonstrators adorned white clothes and sat quietly. There was no chanting or drumming at the protest site. And the organizers also emphasized that the protest does not have any political message. And the motive behind was to bring back the hostages. As Israel continues with its assault in Gaza, the new power dynamics in the United States can lead to a ceasefire in Gaza and of course a potential win against Iran. Across Israel, people are hopeful that the new leader will allow Israel to go after Iran more aggressively. I am very happy that Trump won because I hope he'll make peace here, that he'll make peace and we'll have a good situation in the country and we'll go back to the north and back to the south. And he'll calm things down because I believe he is able to make peace with the Arabs and keep them on a short leash. There are also fears that Trump's unpredictability could further complicate Netanyahu's hazy strategic vision. Now, the new U.S.-Israel power relationship could witness a change given that politically the new president is better placed domestically. Trump has made two things very clear here. He wants Israel's Gaza campaign to end when he takes office and also a quick Lebanon deal is in place.